Boats aren't meant to be turned upside down, so most times nobody's going to see this detail of the hull. Uh, but if ever in distress and your boat does turtle, might be nice uh, to be visible. And it ties in nicely with the, I haven't done the pinstripe on the side yet, but uh, it ties in nicely with the, uh, with the color scheme. So there you go. Um, very happy. I've just roughed out some of the aluminum runners. I have the other lengths rough, very rough. Uh, this one I cleaned up. So it's ready to be drilled and pre-drilled. And I have aluminum screws, which can hold that on, plus bedding compound, Sikaflex. I got some black Sikaflex. So that's how that's going to look. And when, when the pinstriping is all said and done, well, how about we straighten it? Uh, double screw in the front, so no chance of that peeling back. And the hull is looking fairly good. It's not a perfect bottom paint job, but it's pretty darn good. And uh, it's certainly solid as anything. This is with, um, I used truck bed liner and then, then painted it over with flat black that I had. Well, and I mixed it with a bit of a gloss brown. So it has, it has a decent sheen on it, like a unique sheen. Um, but I, I, I really like this. Uh, not too much you're going to get me to say that I don't like. It's kind of neat. It, it, uh, the, I decided instead of just a red cross, I know it's orange cross, but red's the color I had. And actually in the, in the um, uh, video, it's coming out a little more orangey anyway, I think. Uh, but I have the detail of the lap ply for the structure, which creates a step in the bottom of the hull and to the transition to the, um, to the tunnel. And uh, so why not utilize that and create sort of a, a, a bit of a unique um, cross? Um, yeah, so, you know, everything I'm loving about this boat so far is on the bottom uh, where nobody will see it. <laughs> so stay tuned, I guess. And, and the trouble is now I'm doing a, a decent job of, um, of, uh, <laughs> of, of the bottom. So now, oh gosh, I didn't want to get all finicky cabinet make-ish uh, on the top. I was going to go fairly rough and tough and, and just get the build done. But now I like the boat. So I'm going to have to spend some time and, and make sure the, the insides is uh, stylish as what, uh, what the hull is. So this is going to take me longer than I thought. But how does that look? Eh? Pretty cool. Looks uh, This way looks like a, kind of a, uh, a unique... Uh, thing with wings, doesn't it? Not across so much, but uh, kind of interesting. Okay, I'm using uh, six Sikaflex 252. It's a year old, it was brand new. It's a year old though, so it's having a heck of a time coming out of the uh, tube, but it's coming, so it's working. Um, I assume the shelf life, uh, you know, as much as I wanted to hold on to it for a year, I probably should have used it. <laughs> These two pieces are for the, um, for the, uh, side guards, chine guards. Um, I have this one installed. I have, um, I had uh, one inch, um, aluminum screws. I drilled out the holes generously. So just the thread just catches because I didn't want to snap, snap the screw. And I, I filled the hole with the uh, Sikaflex, bind those screws in. They're, they're really, the whole thing's glued. The Sikaflex will handle that all on its own. So really they're just to hold it down till the, till the Sikaflex cures. Uh, especially make a, a single screw here at the point so that um, nothing gets under here. Um, I might put a little bead of Sikaflex right on the very leading edge uh, just so no weeds or fishing line or whatever else uh, hooks it. Uh, if you saw my cross, that's if uh, you'll only see that if you don't, if you really are desperate to be seen, which uh, then you'll be thankful for it, I hope. Um, and so this one's on and the next one is shaped, bent. Ready to go, marked. I have to drill it out, and uh, you can see it's fairly straight on the rail. Uh, it can be shifted a little bit this way and that way, so no big deal as I pre drill the holes. 
So I have to countersink them to allow for the screws. I go over with the uh, random orbital. Uh, I, I did sa belt sand them to um, sort of a brush finish, but you can see it's not, didn't catch everything and I don't want to set, excuse me, I don't want to sand like crazy. So at any rate, this one's ready to go. That one's already shaped on the bow. It's uh, sued ready to go. I'm going to miss seeing the bottom of the boat because um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the form. Uh, the V entry is nice. Um, you know, can you imagine when I get the bow cut? So we have a landing craft uh, drop door there. Um, and there'll be like a, a policeman's uh, uh, push bar on this so that it, uh, it, um, it, uh, we can basically ram shore. And hopefully, I probably will have enough aluminum to clad the outer edges of, the, um, of that push bar as well. So I think that will will add to the to the look and tie in. I haven't yet painted the pinstriping. I'm debating to go with a fine black on the outer outer edge and and thin or all white. Well, it's not white. It's actually a gray, but it comes out looking white up against the colors. And I have to do some fairing. Every little detail. My belt sander um, belts broke on me when I didn't realize it, so it was gouging the side here a bit. And I did do my best to um, clean it up, but it's still showing through. So I have to make a fairing compound for the paint and uh, do a little work there. So, but we're very, very soon able to flip, which then I have a heck of a lot more work. <laughs> well, now because I want it to be a nice boat, right? I want, I want it to look as nice as the bottom is that nobody will see. Ah. And I'll do another coat on the flats of, um, I'll do another uh, paint coat on the flats, clean it up and do one more coat. Just tape the ends of the, of the um, cross uh, so that I can come up to the, to the edge uh, with one more coat. And that'll be three coats on the bottom, truck bed liner, and then the epoxy. So that's uh, two coats of truck bed liner. So yeah, so it should be. Should be super, super um, tough. Um, hmm. Kind of nice, I think. I could avoid videotaping while I'm doing this. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I have to share this with you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching and visit RoyDesignThat.com. Take care, guys.